So this exists for some reason. This is an official reboot of Johnny Test. Five years later. Uh, they don't give you a recap in the special, so if you don't remember Johnny Test, think Dexter's Laboratory, but add another Dexter and gender swap the whole family. Make the lab not a secret and add a talking dog. No opening, but we have a title card. Look at all these Johnnies. We got Fred Frinstone Johnny, Steven Universe Johnny, Bojack Horseman Johnny, and Pickle Johnny. All of which will not appear in this. So Johnny and Dookie just kind of go to the lab for some reason. And they see Susan and Mary for some reason has a bunch of recolors of themselves. Looks like a collection of a bunch of shitty demon art OCs. The girls just kind of made a dimensional gateway. Because Rick and Morty and Endgame taught normal people what multiverse theory is. And they created multiverse travel because they wanted to talk about alternate universe versions of Gil, who's their, like, neighbor they really like. The girls tell him not to touch it. Johnny's all like, oh, I would totally not touch that to make a bowling team. And because for some reason he wants to go bowling, he um, just does mess with the dimensional portal. For some reason, it has a hand scanner on it, and it recognizes Johnny, even though the girls didn't want him playing with it. Then three alternate Johnnies come out, and unlike the girls, these have at least unique designs. There's a robot Johnny. Johnny Cash, get it? Well, the show doesn't, because he's just an Italian stereotype. And female Johnny, that Johnny for some reason has the hots for. Even though Johnny already has a kind of sort of girlfriend that looks like him in his own dimension, but whatever. They take a selfie, but then another Johnny appears. He's got red eyes and a skull t-shirt and black hair. But then the rest of the Johnny gang go bowling because he wanted to for some reason. Uh, Dookie's not in disguise, even though that was a big part of the show was he had to keep that secret. And then after like two seconds of bowling, they check their selfie and like it doesn't look like how it was supposed to look earlier. But they notice that for some reason Italian stereotype Johnny was like really sad in this photo for some reason. And there was another Johnny that came out of the portal. So they gotta rush home. But evil Johnny stole the gateway somehow and the blueprints and for some reason he tore out this little piece and threw it on the ground. That Joni finds, and then Robo Johnny with infrared or some bullshit finds his foot trail. And somehow Evil Johnny took the portal outside and tied up Susan and Mayor of Chains and duct taped their mouth shut. Uh, what's he trying to do? Like, we don't know what his plan is. Is he just trying to go home? Like, what? No time, because Joni finds out that piece of blueprint that was torn off was a self destruct button. So then they charge at Evil Johnny, who just happens to have a laser gun, and shoots at them. Joni and Dookie, despite running at him, get past him, while the boys have to duck behind a conveniently placed rock. And because Italian stereotype references his life is flashing before his eyes, Johnny tells Joni to... Take a selfie with Evil Johnny, and he just stops shooting because he doesn't want his photo taken, and he needs to state this out loud for some reason. And I just realized he has a bad British accent for some reason. So then he's blinded by the camera flash. Dookie pushes him on the console. Because perspective, he doesn't actually hit the button, but whatever. And no, oh no, the thing's gonna self destruct, so everyone has to pile in the portal to go home. And they didn't set the coordinates, so they're all ending up in the same place, so not their own dimension, but whatever. Then Evil Johnny tries to give a monologue, but a kind of funny scene, and Dookie just pushes him in the portal mid sentence. It self destructs, and the day is saved. Or is it? Because Evil Johnny's in a cave in some dimension with the blueprints to build it again to do something. We still don't know what he wants to do with the dimensional portal. Animation in this. 
is fucking horrible! I know my format of clips is in the best way of showing this, but trust me, the animation looks terrible. It looks worse than the original, even when they went to flash animation. Some people will try to defend it like, oh, it's a webtoon, you shouldn't be so hard on it. Fuck you, it's an official product. Just because it's a webtoon doesn't mean it should look bad. Take for instance, Mystery Skull's Ghost. That looks fantastic, and that was made five years ago. Look at a Hasman Hotel. Again, a webtoon, and it looks fantastic. So don't give the excuse just because it's a webtoon, it's going to look bad. The story in this, for whatever reason, they decide to make this five minutes, feels super condensed. Like, it feels just so damn fast. Everything goes by so quick. It feels like I got fucking whiplash from watching this. Evil Johnny has no goals. We have no idea what he wants to do. We just have to assume he wants to do something evil with the portal. Johnny just out of the blue wants to make a bowling team. It's so weird that this is actually official. This looks and feels like some kid's fan animation from like 12 years ago. It's so, like, what? I don't even get why they thought it was a good idea to reboot Johnny Test. I mean, the internet's big consensus of Johnny Test is it's horrible. And the best people can say of it is, it's okay. Would I recommend this? If you're really into Johnny Test, I guess. Otherwise, you're not really getting anything from this. And why is it called the Lost Web Series? Is this like the lost script to an episode or something? Well, hey, at least my review is actually longer than the episode.